so we just barely finished the makeup tutorial for Marin, and now I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of my Marin cosplay. It's in no way perfect, and there's so many things I would change if I built it again, but I'm gonna do a walkthrough of all the bits and pieces. So the setup's a little bit clunky for getting into this costume, uh, but I tried to move my mic so it's a little bit easier for you guys to hear me, but we're gonna be getting into Marin. Um, so the first step when getting into Marin is her tunic, her red tunic. We're gonna like squat <laughs> her red tunic. So this tunic, I just made it so it just goes on like a vest. You just put it over your being and there's two clicks and there's clicks over here. Click there, click there and you just snap it on. So it's just a snap on that side and a snap underneath and in here. This one's a little more finicky. I need to replace it. Oh, and that snap came off while I was trying. Oh, that snap snapped. And then you snap over here. Snap, snap. <laughs> and then you got the tunic. Let me move this chair. <laughs> then you've got the tunic. <laughs> so that's part one. The next part you're gonna wanna put on is the belt. Well, not the belt, but the underbelt that goes under the belt. So on this belt, we have her uh, loincloth pieces, as I lovingly call them. Uh, they're just made out of the same fabric as the tunic. Uh, and then there's also her hip pieces, which I've made out of pleather uh, that I formed over foam. I don't know if you can see that, but ta-da, foam piece. And so we have two of these hip pieces and this is what the underbelt looks like. It clicks together. There's a, uh, a snap here that we just unclick a buckle. I can't remember what side, and it doesn't really matter. It's the same on both sides that you just buckle it on. You pull it, pull this back and underneath in there. Cause the way I made this was clunky but it works and that's all that matters. It may be clunky, but it works. So then we put that on and so then you kind of position it where the hip pieces are where they need to be. And the loincloth is over to butt and this is over to crotch. Uh, and then we have the hip pieces that go over your hips. Boom. We have the belt. So this is the belt piece. I'm actually really proud of how I made this piece. So her belt doesn't actually have closures anywhere. It is a, just a round belt that is around her. It <laughs> it does not work because for it to work, she would have to pull the belt either over her butt or over her head. And um, that's just not how those work. So um, the way that I built this, it's all snaps. Oh, and look at the underside foam. We love, we love seeing the back of cosplays. Um, Sorry, I keep forgetting my mic is over here. Um, so it's all just snaps, tons and tons of leather working snaps. Um, and so we're gonna put it on now. So the way it goes on is the first piece. Let me make sure this is actually going on the right way. Um, the first piece, it snaps in the back, but sometimes just for my own sanity, I snap it in the front and then turn it around. So you just snap the snaps together and then you spin it. The front is facing the front and then you have this piece and this, this full little piece here snaps entirely off. It's an entirely separate piece. Uh, you can even snap this open and take this off, but we're not gonna do that because we're putting it on. Uh, so <laughs> then you take this and you make sure all the snaps are snapped to the right snaps. Um, and so you snap it all around. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Snap on there, belty. Snap. Snap. <laughs> snap. Over here. Snap. And I built this in a way that I could put it on myself, but if you have help, that's always nice. And then this just goes through this piece. This is a, a 3D printed piece. Oh, the belt is not on straight. <laughs> and then you just pull it forward, straighten it so it looks good. 
and then it's on. And it looks like this all the way around. You don't usually see the back of this costume. That's what it looks like. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> so then you just straighten everything out. Make sure everything's kind of where you want it. Straighten it. Straighten it. Move these around. Move this around. All right. So all the rest of the pieces I can do sitting down. Now that all that's on, all that we have left are these little doodads. So the next piece I'm going to put on. Any other person who's built Marin knows this piece sucks. This is the worst. <laughs> this sucks. Like, I think I've built so many of these. And this one I'm just kind of okay with. You know, like, it's not perfect, but it's close. So this is her neck piece. So I don't know if you've noticed while we were filming all the other videos, there's these Velcro pieces on the undershirt. Uh, and they connect, look at the back of this, isn't it beautiful? Don't we love our duct tape? Um, and it connects to these Velcro straps here, so it sticks to the chest. I actually used to have a little clippy down here, but that fell off, uh, that clipped the red pieces together. But I don't, I no longer have that, I need to fix it. Um, this costume is a little bit old now. It's seen a few cons. <laughs> Uh, and so then you just try to Velcro it where it goes so it sits nicely and then it Velcros in the back. And you just Velcros in the back. There's another piece of Velcro on the back of this undershirt that you stick it to so it sticks down to the shirt and then you just stick that together. And it sits a little bit wonky and you see why I had the snap down there that holds the red because otherwise it kind of sticks out. But it's just something you just have to be mindful of. And ta-da! That's how it looks. I'm not going to show you the back. The back looks a little wonky. <laughs> but that's how it looks. I'm actually really proud of how this turned out. This has been the hardest piece uh, to make. And so I'm really proud of it. The next piece that we're gonna wanna put on is my gloves. Uh, these are the things that lots of people are always surprised about. So these gloves are, people wanted an explanation. So these gloves are just like white gloves that I bought off of Amazon. And then I sat with them inside out. They're really rough up close. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, and they're a little dirty, so I apologize for that too. Uh, the sewing's really bad. I actually bought stockings white stockings so that I could make my own gloves, so I need to do that. Also, if you notice, I'm missing a thumbnail on this one. It's just things that I need to fix. Um, but they're just white gloves that I bought off Amazon that I just put on my hand inside out and sat and sewed them directly on, well, not into my hand, but like sewed them on top of my hand as close to my hand as I could get them. So that's what these are, and this is just fabric paint this gray here is just fabric paint, and then these are just fake nails that I hot glued on. Which, hot gluing on fake nails when it's on your hand is an adventure, but it works. Um, so you just put them on like that, makes life easier, then you don't have to worry about getting face paint all over everything. Like you should have seen before I got these gloves, face paint freaking everywhere. So you just pull the gloves up. You could use shorter gloves too. And then this is where this comes in. It just goes up and over. This is technically a gold ring on her costume, but I couldn't find any gold rings that I liked well enough. Um, and so I've just stuck with just keeping it gray because then it's a neutral color so people don't notice. Um, but it is technically supposed to be a gold ring. And then you just put on the other one. You pull it up your arm. And then you pull it, oh wait, no, I need to put the wig on before I do this. Okay, put the wig on before the arms. So this is my wig, ta-da. This is what the back looks like. Y'all don't generally see the back of this wig. Um, this is one of the first like big wig builds I ever did. Uh, and there's so many things I would do now differently and I really need to remake this wig. This wig is a good, year or two old now like it's quite an old wig i've had it for a while uh, and i've been thinking about redoing it but i'm kind of hoping we get uh jedi survivor marin first because i'd rather work on her new costume um before refurbishing this one so here's the wig and it's all it's glory and delightfulness don't give her a bun that's my only wish 
for the next game. Don't give this girl a bun because bun wigs, unless you're buying a fancy wig that specifically is made wefted to be a bun wig, making a bun on a wig is terribly hard. So I'm again, no professional. I just kind of smack it. Oh wait, I need to put my wig cap on. We got the wig cap on. <laughs> Uh, and now we're gonna put on the wig. So the reason that I French braid my hair is it gives uh, a spot for these little tines to uh, sit into. So I just shove it on my head and hope for the best is really the way of the wig is shoving it on your head, <laughs> kind of situating it where you want it and praying to the wig gods that you put it where you want it to be. <laughs> so there we go. So there's the wig. That like changes everything. Like that changed the whole vibe of this look. So we've got the wig on now. So I just go in and I bobby pin it down here where it kind of sticks up. So we're gonna put this on before we put on the gloves just cause it's so much easier to just put on with my fingers. You just kind of hope you click it on at the right place. It's just a chain with a eye at the end. Just kind of situate it. It's a little bit too tight, so let's loosen it a little bit. Breaking things. All right, now we've got the necklace situated. We've got the whole fit on, but the hands and the arms. You just shove them on like you would any other glove. They just go right over your hand. And then the next one that's missing a thumbnail because it popped off. All right, now that we have our hands on, our wig on, everything else on, we gotta do the final piece of the puzzle. These armbands, I'm so proud of these. They are zippered and Velcro is how that these work. So you just figure out which arm each goes on. This is the wrong arm. Um, and you just pull up your arm like so, and then you just zip it. Um, and then we have the wrap. She has a wrap around her arm. And the way this works is it's a piece of fabric with Velcro on it, and then there's little bits of velcro along here and so you just you do the wrap till you get to the velcro bit again <laughs> there you go to get to the velcro bit and then you velcro it oh and then you velcro it and then you wrap around you velcro it to the velcro you guys can't really see that you wrap it around till you get to the why do i keep holding it out like that till you get to the velcro bit that you can't see because of the weird angle and then you wrap it around. And this makes it so that this wrapping that you can't really see because of the lighting, that this wrapping doesn't like fall down. Cause that was a problem I was having. If you just free wrap it without adding the Velcro every one, every wrap, it will just fall down and it won't look as clean. So that's why we have the Velcro. And then that just Velcro's under that. And then you got the armband. There you go. Now you can see it better. And then that keeps them so they're all separated and have a nice look. Uh, she is quite an actual comfortable cosplay. If it weren't for the face paint, um, her costume is actually relatively comfortable to sit in and stuff. The belt I made maybe a little bit too tight, um, but it just means I have better posture. Um, but yeah, so there's there's the other one. Ta -da! So. Now we're good to go. Here, let me back up so you can see the fit. Ta -da. And then I just go film TikToks and stuff. So thank you for watching me get into Marin. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm going to be doing similar videos like this uh, with Trilla and Cal if you guys are interested. Um, but that being said, thank you for hanging out. May the freaking force be with you. Goodbye. Thank you.